This is Twit. There is now a badge for digital literacy. It's digital leadership. Oh, uh, even better. Yes, digital leadership. The Girl Scouts are offering it at uh, all the levels, starting with daisies, who are the really little guys, kindergarten, first grade, all the way up through, I want to say, um, seniors, senior Girl Scouts, which are your high schoolers. And Yeah, as, no, all the way up to ambassador, I think. Oh, ambassadors, who are like your 11th graders and your 12th graders. And the skill set for each of the badges remains the same. It's so just the sophistication cute. for each you know, grows with age, but basically the girls are going to learn how to discover and assess what their digital landscape is, you know, to define what a digital landscape is. They will be learning how to detect misinformation. Uh, they'll be this learning how to design or participate in a, in a constructive digital community. They'll learn about the do's and don'ts of putting content, creating and putting content online, and then they'll share their best practices with, with other people. Kind Look at this. Fantastic. this is, isn't this this yeah. is for brownies? That's second and third mm -hmm. grainers. Uh, yeah. Discover your digital footprint. The the first explore the differences between public and private information. This is second and third graders. Yeah. So I for, think this for is the brownie, so I've, great. I've pulled up the curricula now for the because in my troop we have brownies, uh, juniors, and cadets. So our girls span about a, a, a five grade continuum and starting at brownies they're going to learn what catfishing is oh what a digital footprint God. is uh the difference between public versus private information and then by the time i'm talking with my middle schoolers they'll also be learning about um trolling phishing um wow slack division and hashtag activism <laughs> um and then there's a whole exercise that you do on how to detect digital misinformation how to debunk a debate online and uh another thing they're talking about in the badges are where to go if you're being harassed or having trouble online how to reach out and talk to somebody and and get over the fear that you might be in trouble or that you've done something that can't be undone so. look at this the cadets public print out this my digital data tracker where yeah. they actually track which devices they used to go to which platform, what they did, what data or content they shared, with whom do they share it, what was your mood before, and what was your mood after. Yeah. Oh, this is the kind of thing every every kid should should do, I think. There's a digital wellness routine they're encouraging for the girls where they want them to monitor their screen time and be honest about how much time they're spending. Yeah. They want them to, you know, before you post something, check in with your values. Um, and then check in with your feelings and ask for help if you need it. I'm and gonna do this. I, I really, well, I, I, I like that they're adding skills that point out that what happens online is going to affect you, period. Like it's a really holistic look. Cause I, I think one of the things that people in, in say my gen, I'm, I'm Gen X, but people like me who came of age using computers, but not necessarily online until we got to school, there's still a tendency to distinguish between online and offline life. And that's simply not a helpful distinction. No. And what I love about these badge programs, you know, looking them over, is that they don't make that distinction. It's basically this is, and the Girl Scouts have always had badges on how to manage other parts of your life, from personal finance to physical fitness to um, civic engagement. And they're just now extending this to this is another area <laughs> where you're going to have to develop a set of skills that will serve you well in life. I love it. Lisa, I have a question for you about the Girl Scouts. Uh -huh. I'm curious. Yeah. You know, I, I was an Eagle Scout on the Boy Scout side. And, and over over the last like decade or so or five or so years, I've just been kind of disgusted with a lot of the stuff that's been happening at the Boy Scout level. Does mm. the, the Girl Scouts have a lot of that, the same politics or is it a kind of a, a different organization altogether? So my brother's an Eagle Scout. We were like a total scouting family. I've got my golden girl scouting. He has his Eagle. Um, organizationally, they are very different. Um, I've actually uh, been in trainings where I, I, when I got certified in um, wilderness recovery and first aid, I, I was like, why are we so risk averse? Why is there so much certification? And one of the things they said, one of the things they said was, we want to make sure that we're reducing risk to the girls at every level. And they have that built into the culture. For example, mm -hmm. if you have a married couple in a troop, you have to have, like, as leaders in a troop, there always has to be a third unrelated adult there. Um, there are really, really strict rules as to uh, who can chaperone on camping and why this is the case. And they're communicated very clearly. Um, so 
that was a way of sidestepping some of the liability issues that have dogged the Boy Scouts. As to some of the political and cultural issues, I'm in the Bay Area, so <laughs> it's not going to, it may not be the same always, but I've been involved as an adult leader since 2001, and even as far back as 2001, um, anybody who thinks or identifies as a girl has been welcome in Girl Scouting. Oh, and, that's great. That's fantastic. And, and is, so that far, really, is that really uh, honored in spirit as well as by the rule? I, yeah, at that's least it really is in, in my service unit and in the council stuff I've seen that's true. Um, one of my favorite uh, troop leaders in another troop, uh, you know, she and her wife ran a troop successfully for several years. And so there's never really, not there's never, because that's not true, but in my experience as an adult leader for 20 years, we haven't had the cultural flashpoints with quote, what they what they called in Boy Scout or Girls, Girls, God's Gaze. It hasn't been an issue in Girl Scouting. Yeah. Um, the biggest issue that's actually coming up is because of the Boy Scouts. <laughs> because now that the Boy Scouts is open to women or, or they're open to little girls and you can have little girls go through Boy Scouting and get up to the Eagle Scout level, um, that's something where I've talked to families who were like, well, you know, no offense, but no one's ever heard of the Gold Award. Everyone knows what an Eagle Scout is. And so there, there is a little bit of... Um, Organize, organizational anxiety around what kind of relationship the Girl Scout organization is going to have with the Boy Scout organization. We don't even call it Boy Scouts anymore. It's Scouts BSA because of that. It's Scouts BSA, yeah. 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 